A private home situated at 212 Yonk Street has been shared for over 40 years as a remembrance to this native who empathetically affected FAMU, the individuals of Tallahassee, the state of Florida, and even the country. A memorable marker introduced in the home's hilltop yard messengers gather, who carried on with an epic life and, a, and left a great heritage as an American saint. Alonzo Smith Gaither, who constructed an incredible athletic machine at Florida A&M University, is known as the best mentor of his time. His spearheading training strategies moved FAMU's athletic program past the parameters of the HBCU universe and into the more extensive American culture, with the group's outstanding presentation being secured onto sports pages of Day by Day Standard and Negro specialty papers across the nation. Mentor Gaither is verifiably viewed as an extraordinary inspiration who utilized the football field as his research center to build up players' characters and refine their abilities so as to assist them with reaching their fullest life potential. Conceived on April 11, 1903 in Dayton, Tennessee, Gaither moved toward becoming head football trainer of the FAMC Rattlers in 1945 and served until his retirement in 1969. The time of his noteworthy rule is lovingly called the Gaither era. During his 25-year tenure, he exceptionally accumulated an amazing record of 203 wins, 36 losses, and 4 ties for a triumphant level of .844, the most elevated for any school mentor of his time, black or white. Under his administration, the Rattlers won 6 Negro collegiate football titles, 42 of what people called Jake's boys proceeded to play in the National Football League, including Bob Hayes, a star-wide collective for the Dallas Cowboys, who likewise earned two gold awards for track during the 1964 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Willie Gallimore, an acclaimed running back with the Chicago Bears, Ken Riley, a cautious running back with the Cincinnati Bengals, and Robert Paramore, a halfback with the St. Louis Cardinals. Perceiving the dynamic effect of his excellent training vocation, Gaither was accepted into the National Football Foundation Hall of Fame in 1975, which, called, which he called the best snapshot of his life. Gaither's profession was packed with recognized distinctions. Agile, Mobile, Hostile, the biography of Alonzo S. Jake Gaither is the finished untold story of the exceptional existence of Jake Gaither a major and incredible symbol of Florida A&M University. Powerful writer Roosevelt Wilson composed the original copy in 1976, subsequent to initiating long periods of meetings with Gaither and those key to his life's voyage. The recouped composition is being reestablished and distributed with over-the-globe access to help reestablish the instructing legend to current game's memory, where he has a noble place in FAMU's heart. He and his wife sort of adopted my family, Wilson said. They purchased our three children their first bikes for Christmas. The house I claimed was Jake's old house. He offered it to me, nearly gifted it to me. A nearby compatriot, Gaither showed, Gaither, Gaither endowed Wilson to pen and approve his memoir. When Wilson initially chose to write about Gaither, it was about setting the record straight. At the time, Gaither was vexed about another book in 1977. Writer George Curry, who worked for Sports Illustrated, met with Gaither for the book. And Jake hated it, Wilson said. He said it distorted everything, that the person misquoted him, and it truly brought him to tears. He chose to write the book because of the other book's damage. For what reason is the book coming around 40 years later? I guess you could consider it a lost composition since I forgot about it, Wilson said with a chuckle. In the wake of doing such work, I just overlooked it. As Wilson's well-being decayed, it ended up harder to put the completing addresses to Gaither's history. Wilson, at 77 in the end, went totally visually impaired. Yanella McLeod, a previous understudy of Wilson's, was instrumental in A, finding the lost original copy for the book, and B, getting the last item distributed. With McLeod's assistance, Wilson said that he's had the option to finish off a 30-year section of his life. 
Fascinating knowledge in the book incorporates many things, including the beginning of the charm named Jake, Gaither's successful fight over brain cancer, Gaither's sorting out of the first interracial intercollegiate football matchup where the Rattlers outpaced the University of Tampa Spartans, his being named Uncle Tom by individuals from the Negro Initiative Network during the high point of the civil rights movement, his own impact on white political pioneers and open figures, and the effect that his mentorship had on the enhancing the lives of his players, again known as Jake's Boys. After a renowned profession, Gaither resigned in August 31st, 1973. He passed on February 18th, 1994 at 90 years old. In Tallahassee, a family gymnasium, community playground, public golf course, recreation center, street, and neighborhood are named after his honor.